There are many legendary characters in Armenian mythology and folklore. One of those popular figures is Tork Ankir. Ankir in the Armenian language literally means unattractive or ugly. Ankir is also the name of a mountainous village found in the southwest region of ancient Armenia, which could mean that the story originated there or Tork came from that very village. Either way, that is what he was called. Tork was the grandson of Haig Nahabit, also known as Haig the Great, the legendary patriarch and founder of the Armenian nation. His story will be told in a future episode. Tork, the grandson of Haig, was known to be an exceptionally large man, as tall as a tree and as big and wide as a mountain. A truly awe-inspiring figure to look at, with preternatural strength. Because of these unique attributes, he stood out from the ordinary people of that time. Tork mainly grew up in the forest, surrounded by wild animals. He did not fear nature, he was part of it. When he was a young boy and would sleep in the wild, the great eagle would come and spread its immense wings just to shelter him from the inclement weather. Tork would often share his food with wild animals. Lions and tigers would wait to be fed by him, but they also feared him, for if they angered Tork in any way, for any reason, they would not get fed that night. He was also known to pick up giant boulders and throw them into the heavens with ease. Even though he had a deep connection with nature and would often prefer to be in the forest, Tork never forgot the plight of the common folk. He was always quick to assist anyone in need or in distress. One of the stories as told by the ancients is about a small ship full of raiders sailing from the Black Sea. These marauders attacked and ravaged the village near Tork's lands. When Tork got the news, he quickly rushed to the village, but alas was too late. The murderous marauders had already decimated the village and had set sail. This angered Tork to no end. He quickly ran to the edge of the cliff right by the sea, where he spotted the ship from afar. Without hesitation, Tork grabbed the giant boulder nearby and hurled it towards the small ship. The giant boulder landed near the ship, causing a tremendous wave toppling the ship and its crew, sinking them to the bottom of the sea. What is interesting about this legendary figure is that there was another side to him. He was not all brute strength and ferocity. There was a creative side to Tork. This was not a two-dimensional figure. He had depth to his character and creativity. He was known for his artistic talents by carving artwork on boulders and sides of mountains. In the Armenian highlands, there are carvings found on petroglyphs. Carvings done from an age long ago. Could these carvings possibly be the artwork of Tork Ankir? Perhaps. Tork was also known to do many sculptures of animals and busts of human figures, all carved from trees and other findings in nature. Upon hearing about the talents and miraculous tales of Tork, the king of Armenia at that time sent couriers to Tork, inviting him to the palace. Honored by this invitation, Tork uprooted a nearby tree, decorating it by wrappings of material and hanging different pelts of animals on that tree. This was to be presented as a gift for the king. He put his creation on his massive shoulder and set out to meet the monarch. Upon entering the great hall, the king was astonished by the hulking figure standing over him. The king was curious to see if Tork's intelligence equaled his superior strength. So, the king inquired, Tork, what is more important, power or wisdom? Tork's reply was swift. Both are equally necessary, for a weak man is not very wise, and a strong man cannot altogether be ignorant. But their true value lies not in their possession, but usage. For a great man is one who uses his strength and intelligence 
to do good. The king was truly impressed and humbled by the logic of Tork's answer. So what is the moral of this story? A man is called Anker, or ugly, because of his unnatural physical appearance and strength. Yet, he also has wisdom, creativity, and a caring heart. The saying, never judge a book by its cover, rings true in this ancient Armenian tale, passed down from generation to generation. So if you ever find yourself in Armenia one day, do yourself a favor and visit the giant statue of Tor Kankir, located in Yerevan, where history and legends come alive. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a like button and subscribe to this channel. It will help us to give you more.